Hi, Sagittarius, getting ready to do your weekly reading. All right. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. You have the Ace of Cups. Wow. With the Six of Swords. Judgment, King of Wands. I'm sorry, the Six of Wands. The Page of Coin and the Page of Cups. Okay. Three of Coin represents you. The energy influencing this reading or possibly the person that's coming in is the World card. We have the Queen of Cups in your hopes or fears. Outcome is the Four of Coin. It is in reverse. Un underneath is the Nine of Swords. Behind that is Death. Behind that is Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. So you've been through a lot lately. You've been through some changes. Quite a few. You're worrying. So some of you um, may have been with the Judgment card here. World energy possibly may not be yours. Some of you have definitely uh, maybe giving something a second chance or meeting someone new. You've been through a lot. What is this Ace of Cups? Intuition, High Priestess. What is the High Priestess? What does she represent? Seven of Coin. Looking at the past, what is the Seven of Coin? Okay. I'm going to... I am going to make a judgment here of what I'm seeing for someone, Sagittarius. There could be someone who is interested in you for your money. Um... I see it a lot in private readings for women as well as men, but um, I actually see a lot for women, interestingly enough. So if you have met someone new and you think that might be a possibility, especially if you are well off, you have the money, this is a heads up, but let's keep going because that may not be the case. What is the Six of Swords? Six of Swords. King of Cups. Okay. So I'm kind of feeling like there's someone around you coming in. You may be dating someone who may be coming across very romantic, very sweet, saying all the right things, but um, this could be fake. What is the judgment card? Seven of Swords. You guys, someone who's watching needs to know, heads up, someone wants your money. This is fake. There's someone false. If this is you, this is your first instinct is four of coin, hanging on to your coins. This is someone getting you to release your coins. This isn't good. What is the seven of swords? What is the seven of swords? Four of cups and opportunity. So this is a bad opportunity. This is a bad four of cups. This is an opportunity that's laced with lies or someone you know being very sneaky or deceptive maybe even a third party situation but this is definitely someone who is looking at you for your money page of coin two of swords what's on the other side of the two of swords please temperance okay so again ace of coins under the deck right now so again if someone's coming to you and already, you know, you, they seem to be interested in your money. This is a heads up not to go too fast, not, not to give them anything. Again, this may be an earth sign. It could be a water sign. There's something that maybe you don't want to see. Maybe you're excited. You think this person's, you know, so romantic, etc. The right one for you. So again, this may be a gold digger for someone. But if this is, has nothing to do with your money, especially if you say, well, I don't have money. This still with the Seven of Swords is showing up as a bad offer. Intuition, High Priestess, secrets around this offer. Again, the King of Cups could be a Queen of Cups there. We do have the Queen of Cups. But sometimes I do read this as someone who is being romantic, saying all the right things, doing all the right things, but it's not real. Because with the Six of Swords, it's like you need to move away from this. Page of Cups, please. Page of Cups. This person's a player. We have the Knight of Wands. They, of course, might be a fire sign. They may be also younger. But, um, again, sometimes the Knight of Wands, which, of course, can be you, means getting on your horse and moving away. Getting away from this person 
What is the three of coin? What is the three of coin? Magician. Okay, something fell out. I'll pick it up in a minute. Magician with what card, please, universe? Manifesting a new beginning, the four of wands. Okay, three of coin, which is you, can represent someone who is being admired. They're admiring his work. They're working together with him. Technically, it's a good card. This could be you at work. This could be where you're meeting this person. Also, this is my out card. You're out shopping somewhere. Someone's helping you. You can meet this person very randomly, coffee shop, store, whatever. Um, so this could also be where you're at. This person may really catch you off guard, but, necess but in a good way, not necessarily bad. Um, and then it almost looks like you kind of like just jump into this relationship or you want to really go for it in this relationship without really knowing this person, okay? Because this is kind of fast action. Like you want to quickly get this going, get this off the ground, the four of wands. Um, someone may actually be at some hardware store, Home Depot, etc. If you're redoing a house, building a house, anything to do, painting, anything. Um, if you are working on your home, building it, etc., moving even, that's where you're going to meet them. What is the world card? What is the world card? The hermit. This is a Virgo, but also this is someone who... Usually this is what's influencing the reading. It's not necessarily you. This is what's around you. What is the hermit, though? What is the hermit? King of Wands. I'm going to pick these up and kind of move things out of the way. It's getting cluttered. But, um, again... For someone, you may also know this person. So if they, if someone's coming to you and they would like to borrow some money, you may know this person. And that may be why also you're willing to help them out. Could be someone from the past. Um, the world is obviously closure. And the hermit's about someone, you know, kind of staying with, to themselves, you know, in literal sense. Staying home, not dating, kind of just taking time to themselves. Behind this, I have a king of wands. And to me, yes, this can be a fire sign. Yes, this could be you. So it could be that you have gone through a full closure with the world. You have been kind of keeping to yourself. Um, maybe you are, you know, working on yourself, reading self-help books, etc. All of that with the hermit energy. And now here you're coming out and starting to date again. Because my king of wands, if it's not you and it's not a fire sign, is someone who is passionate, outgoing, fun, friendly, warm, etc. All those good things. So it's almost like someone may be laying on the charm very thick, very heavily. Now your hopes or fears is the queen of cups. So I don't know if you're worried this person has a third party. There's someone else involved. I don't know if you're afraid you're going to fall for this person too quickly. You're going to get all in your emotions and fall in love and think, oh, this is the one. So you may be afraid that's what you're doing. Are you falling for this person too quickly? Are you going to just let everything go with the four of coins and just kind of like accept them at, into your life and just, you know, make changes? And for some of you, I feel like you may be willing to let this person move in quickly. You may move for this person. What is the queen of cups, please? What is the queen of cups? Ten of coin. So again, someone may be hoping that there's financial stability with this person, that there's money, that there's security, family, etc., which is to me is no, there's no reason not to want those things. But um, yeah, you're hoping that there's security, not that this person's just going to come in and leave again. Now, when I was doing this card here, these cards, something fell out. Okay, there was two cards, and I forgot to go back. Ace of Wands and Star. So this is this is something new for some of you. This could be an, a redo someone from the past but you're like i hope this works there's spark there's passion i'm going to jump in give this relationship my all so you're going to find someone that you're head over heels for you guys and i think this person's fake seven of swords um intuition not a good card with a love reading like this six of swords so i'm going to go to your outcome again i'm going to move some of these so it's not so cluttered Okay, so the outcome is actually four of coin in reverse. Letting something go. What is the four of coin for this reading? Four of coin. Okay, again, there's you. Queen of wands. What else, please? 
new beginning, Ace of Swords. Okay, one more card, please. Okay, so some of you, this is someone from the past, and that's what I was feeling. Okay, but I also picked up another message as I was doing that. This person is matching your energy, Sagittarius. They see you, and I think they've been watching you with the Hermit card. They see you, you know, like you have it together, you're fun, you're working, you're doing your thing. I feel like they're matching your energy. They want, they really want to hook you. They've been watching you. They want to act the way you do so you will like them. Say the right things. Do the right things. Again, Seven of Swords, though, I just feel like this person is being fake. Um, this is someone, for a lot of you, you are going to give a second try to because Ace of Swords is just that. Let's do this again. Let's fix it. Someone from your past. This person hasn't changed. If it's someone from your past, they may say they changed and they may be acting different right now, but they haven't changed, you guys. Before you were very closed off. This is just kind of... Now, some of you may actually let this person go and just be like, you know what? I already know this. I don't want to deal with this person. They were a player. They still are. There could be three people involved. Even though that's your card, there could be someone else. Um, and they may have been with the water sign. You're hoping they are no longer with the water sign. So if this resonates and this is you hoping that this is going to work a second time, hoping that this new person, if it's new, is going to be the right one for you. You need to take it slow. Again, there's someone where this is about money. They know you have money. Again, I feel like they have been watching you and this is kind of a creepy watch. This is. Um, so also six of cups can be someone who is being very kind. Again, he's giving her flowers. He's giving her something, being kind. Could also be an act. Doesn't have to be someone from the past. So I don't want to like make you think that everyone in the, around you is bad and negative and everyone coming in is going to be a player, but this is showing that. So a heads up, be careful, Sagittarius. Take it slow, okay? Don't go all in. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.